Welcome back to Urban Rain. In the last episode, we did mission 46 and 47, and now we're gonna have to take the fight again to the Shadow Platoon and the Outlaws because these guys just don't know when to quit. And now they've picked on Katanashi's boys. Katanashi's not a happy camper. I've heard that someone's jumped Katanashi's crew that were protecting the citizens from the rioters. Some of them have been hit so hard they're completely incapacitated. It's probably the work of the Shadow Platoon. That area may descend into chaos once again. Word has it that Master Katanashi himself is out to get revenge for his disciples, promising that the culprits will get what's coming to them. Katanashi is not our enemy anymore. Go help him out. Well, it's befitting to bring Katanashi here in order for you to have an even edge. But yeah, it's best you bring him here because it's going to be three on two instead of three on one if you came in solo. I mean, yeah, it would be a challenge if you happen to bring a partner in time trials, but it's, oh, I just got rock bottom into a box of Little Debbie snack cakes. That is not cool. Yeah, that's right. I just got rock bottom into a shelf of Little Debbie snack cakes. Brad is pissed now. And I'm gonna take it on a real deal. Why? Because real deal is like Miguel. He cannot take an ass whooping like to. Oh god damn it. He's fighting back. Oh god. They got me trapped in the corner. I'll be damned. And the hell kind of double team is this? Whatever it is, it hurt him like hell. And of course, getting kicked while being trapped in the triple cross spaces and helping, but Katanashi is holding his own while Real Deal just ran into a pile of wooden pallets. I'm sorry, that, that's just failure left and right, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm gonna take care of Real Deal right now, and then I'm gonna deal with Cooper. Because Cooper actually is the person you want to freaking isolate, due to the fact that he's. How should I put it? Using nothing but submission moves. Uh, nope, nope. You're not getting me this time. Instead, I'm gonna get you. And that takes care of that mission. We're almost in the 50s, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, the next mission would be the 50s. So, let's put some regional attack here. Yeah, we still got about what? Uh. 50 more fights to go, so we'll be maxed out by then. Anyway... A member of the Shadow Platoon has gotten separated from the rest of his gang and is apparently taking refuge in a motel. Go and convince him to take a long vacation, if you know what I mean. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be fighting another submissionist! Goody! This time it's Anderson! Anderson! Yeah, I'm gonna stop saying Anderson now. Anyway, Anderson is basically now like a boss, so he will start using expert reversals, especially around this time. And not just that, he will be definitely the bane of your existence whenever he catches you and puts you in a leg submission. Whatever you do, don't stay on the ground too. Oh god damn it! Just as sure as he, I said it, he's already put my legs in the red. God damn it! I almost got him. Almost got him. Damn it! And this is also where my capture card starts crapping out. I don't know why it decides to do it. It's not my capture card actually. It's my AV cable starts crapping out. You can tell because it was like, oh god damn it! It was also lagging during that time, but now I've got serious leg damage. God damn, Anderson is kicking my ass! Damn it! No! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! You are not Jack Swagger! Stop that! Oh, of course, you're gonna keep breaking my ankle. Damn it! And he broke my back. And I am done. I can come back on him. I can come back on him. Come on. Come on. I, I got you, bitch. No, no! Well, that's nice. <sighs> Let's do this again. 
That was for the ankle lock. God damn it! Oh, there goes my capture card. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's it wasn't actually my capture card. It was my AV cable. And it's going on the fritz. I don't know why it decides to do that now. I mean, the thing works. Oh, god damn it! Stop reversing. Take that. No, god damn it. Oh yeah, I got your back now, bitch. Come on. Ah, oh, you dick. Stop with the kidney shots! Ouch! Well, that's a nice combo there. Uh, it left me lost for words. No, no, no! Damn it! God damn it! Of course he's gonna start breaking my legs. Why wouldn't he? Uh, asshole. Uh, I'm gonna get you. With a power up! Yeah! That was an embarrassing loss, wasn't it? You so totally kicked my ass. Welp. There's not much to say about that, except. Wow, just wow. It, that could have ended a lot better. And now we got another fight. Alex is a brawler from the Green Hill area. This guy is a bad scene. Nobody wants to scrap with him because he doesn't pull any punches, and he's got the skills to back it up. He's been pretty mellow recently, but I think the rioters who have spread to that area have reignited his bloodthirst. It seems he came well armed. To even the odds, you'll probably have to use weapons when you take him on. Keep an eye out for dropped weapons, or grab his, and give him a taste of his own medicine. Uh, the thing about this fight is, this is the first fight and he's already got a weapon. So he's like Glenn. I'm gonna take you down! And in case you're wondering, yes, Alex may eventually be a party member. But as far as for this guy is concerned, you're gonna have to uh, take that crowbar away from him and beat him down with it. Yeah. If anything, be careful because Alex will reverse you and will also reverse your hits with the crowbar. But one thing is for sure, he is exactly like Jake, except a lot stronger in grapples, dude. He will basically pull up all sorts of insane grapples. Like so. Damn it! I just got hit with the stone cold. Oh god! Yeah. My, my game started lagging on me, badly, and I apologize for the lag, and yeah, he is kicking my ass with it. Oh man, why did it pick now to lag? This is just not my lucky day, but then again, I've always had some sort of days in my playthrough where things like this happen, but just not this particular playthrough. Oh yeah, now it starts to play normally as he's whipping my ass. Okay. Time to- Oh! Bitch, I was in the middle of a combo. Yeah, just be aware of Alex's super kick. Oh, die! Oh, well, I'm done here. Nope, I may just get him. I may just get him! Nope. Not gonna happen. Yep. Trying to check out what's the cause of the lag. And trying to fix my um, UV cable, my AV cable, because, well, this should not happen at all. So, let's do this. Everything's back in order. So, let's go on ahead and try to beat Alex's ass. Alright, come on, prick. He just threw a weapon at me and caught it. And yes, you could do that. Just like you could jet my powerball him to a freaking train. Take this! Yeah, I'm in the lead now, punk. Oh, just when I had his crowbar. Thing is, Alex's crowbar is definitely a good thing to use against Alex. If anything, 
you can throw it at Alex, and then while Alex is running, it, it can actually hit him. But, however, be careful, he will pick it up and it'll be back to the drawing board. Because trust me, Alex basically has the best weapon. He has the best uh, weapon stats in the game, and not just that. He has that devastating super kick. You know, the one that, uh, Jake uses. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, this is Armored King that Alex is basically... Alex's moveset is basically based on. And he is messing me up with another stunner. Yep. And I just got super kicked. Now I know how Shawn Michaels feels. And also Stone Cold Steve Austin. But that's not the point. The point of the matter is... We now have a new stat because we just got finished fighting Alex. The weapon stat, which I'm going to put all my points on. So trust me, we've got a lot of missions, so we'll be maxed out by mission 98 at least. So, with that said, that brings us with two more missions. So let's deal with them. Our enemies are starting to play dirty. They know they don't stand a chance against you in unarmed combat, so they've started packing weapons. You've definitely got your own unique fighting style, but how are you with weapons? You can hit someone with a weapon, sure, but keep in mind you can also throw it at distant enemies. Once you get into the groove, you'll be able to catch or kick away weapons thrown at you. It shouldn't be too hard for someone of your expertise. All right, now with this, we got more weapons holders. And until Alex comes on your team, you're better off coming in with somebody who has better weapons um, stats. So you've got your choice between Glenn, Katanashi, or Dwayne. Because everybody else is going to be coming in with weapons from here on in. They're coming in with armor, baseball bats, planks. And so is Dwayne coming in with a barbed wire baseball bat. Don't be surprised as you'll see uh, more powerful weapons like, so like swords or sledgehammers. Or even a hatchet. Oh yeah, you'll be seeing a hatchet, I promise you that. That's the point. The point of the matter is, when it comes down to... When it comes down to enemies with weapons... Make sure you get somebody with a high weapon stack that can basically take out the uh, enemies that have weapons so that you'll be able to actually do some damage to, uh, actually so that he'll be able to do some damage to one of the weapon holders while the other weapon holder will only have to worry about you and then your partner can join in on the fray because if he's using weapons alone like, if Glenn or Dwayne or Katanashi's using weapons alone, they will basically... Did I just got kicked in the balls? Holy shit, I just got kicked in the balls! You bastard! Take that! Wreck my balls, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna wreck your face! Oh, let me get something to hit you with. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Never mind, I'm just gonna kick you. I was about to pick up something to hit you with, but unfortunately, I didn't feel like it because you were already dead. Anyway, uh, what should I put on there? Ah, let's put on a lower body endurance. After all, I don't want my legs to be broken again. Frickin' Anderson. Anyway, we're gonna be doing the final mission of this part. It's not really the finale. It's just like the final mission of the set of missions I'm doing for this episode. When you've got a weapon in hand, you'll be tempted to do all the work yourself. But don't forget that you've also got your partner to back you up. Weapons can be passed back and forth between you and your partner. Once you've wiped out these weapon-wielding street games, we can really get to work on cleaning up the city. We'll start with our area first, then head out to the city center. The battle's not over until we've driven every one of them out of this city. Well, I would list you, but your weapon stats suck. So I'm gonna list Katanashi. Well, at least until Alex get on the team. When Alex get on the team, that's a wrap. Anyway, when it comes down to weapons, you just gotta make these guys drop their weapons as quickly as humanly possible, especially if they have swords or knives. Or the final boss in the game's case, they have a gun, which is the most powerful weapon in the game. I am not 
kidding. But, as it stands, if you want to try to get a weapon that your partner already has, you just press the R2. Well, you can just press the square button while holding R2, and your partner will toss you the weapon he or she is currently holding. At this case, you're gonna have to uh, work towards getting yourself out of a corner. Because, yeah, getting yourself in a corner sucks. And not just that. Also, have Katanashi washing your back. And it also depends on what kind of weapons they have. And also be careful because you may inadvertently hit your partners. But at this case, I just dealt with real deal yet again. It was just utterly, utterly pathetic. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I am done with this episode. In the next episode, chances are we will be seeing both Alex and Mark, and maybe even the bosses of the chapter. Hopefully. I said that last part, and I only saw Alex. Well, this time around, I may be right. See you guys next time.